Hi, my name is Honda Lindbergh. I work for Techland North America. And I'm Jim McCartney with Trimble's Building Construction Division. Techland and Trimble have joined forces to integrate two solutions for taking building information modeling to the field by using Techland structures and the Trimble robotic total stations. Now you might be asking yourself, why do I need to know this? Well, the Trimble robotic total station really is the most accurate and the fastest way of doing layout for the job site. And compared to traditional 2D methods, Tecla building information models are really the most accurate way to coordinate your project before the construction begins. Now there's no reason why this information should stay in the main office or just in the pre-construction phase. We need a process to move that information to the field. In our demonstration today, we'll show you techniques that will allow you to take data from your Tecla structures model to the field and accurately and productively lay it out, then also bring as-built data back into the model to maintain integrity of the model through the BIM workflow process. First we'll begin with a sample project. This model here was created to take building information models to the field. We'll use our Tecla model to create some layout points and then we'll synchronize those layout points to the Trimble Nomad device, which then links to our Trimble robotic total station. For our demonstration today, we'll use the Trimble layout carpet to depict our job site. The Trimble layout carpet has a full-scale job site plan that we can use to lay out our BIM data that's come out of the Tecla Structures model. Our focus will be taking the fully integrated BIM model into the field. Ensuring that there are no problems in the model will also ensure that there are no problems in the field. We'll also show that using this kind of an integrated Trimble robotic total station with BIM is really the fastest, most accurate way of doing job site layout. Now let's take a look at the model. We've brought in a 2D representation of the carpet which we'll use for the demonstration today. We have used that to trace and create a representation of a model in the 3D model environment. We will use this to depict how we can create layout points in the model by selecting model objects in a three-dimensional context. I can open up the component catalog in Tecla Structures where I have these basic tools to create a layout point, a layout line, or a layout component, which is basically an intelligent component using these plugins um, in an intelligent form or a block. I can click on a model object to input the layout points into the model. So once we've created the desired layout points, we can see, you can see we've actually created all the layout points along the column line and also on the corners of the footing and the anchor rod locations. Now at this point we could do synchronize and create uh, with our total robotic station, but we are going to create a drawing for a reference. So I'm going to be using the plan at elevation zero to create as a, a reference drawing. I'm going to be using the Trimble layout settings, choose to create the drawings for all parts. I'm going to select the actual view that I want to create it from, which is this view here. And I'm going to choose to create and open the drawing. Now that we have scaled the drawing properly, we can create our DXF export. First of all, we can check the scale of our Tecla drawing. And for us to get a proper scale export out to the Nomad device, we will use the drawing scale calculator available in the layout manager. So that was four. We can calculate and get the drawing scale rounding and conversion here. Minimize and go to drawing file and export. We've named our drawing. We can call this E2. Choose our layer options if we have any specifics and set our drawing scale for the export. And we're done. Once we have the drawing created, we're ready to export a job file. First, we want to refresh. Make sure we have all the layout information in our layout manager. This is basically pulling in all the points from the model into a list for us. This allows us to name the points here in an order, or we can actually even find and locate where they are in the model. Next, we will create a job file. There are a couple different options. You can either synchronize directly with the device or you can produce and export a job file as well if you need to transfer the data wirelessly via email.